Hello everybody, it's Suffolk Blue, all the way from merry old England. How the devil are you? I hope you are well. We are back in the Attack of the B-Team Minecraft Let's Play series that we've been playing, just outside our factory. I have been very busy off camera doing a few bits and bobs and doing some work. I want to show you some of the things that I've done. We'll come to this in a moment. Let's start with the easy bit though, which is I have spent an enormous amount of time. Um, there we go. Oh. A little bit of lag. Watch this. It's a little spring forward. There we go. Um, I've spent an age putting in all of the minecarts for our central tunnel. Um, each uphill has got powered rail. Um, and this little area here is going to be our station area. Lovely. So all the way down here, we've got our endpoints here. Now if you've got to imagine that these are going to be minecarts actually with chests in them. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand down here with some tinkers tools and whatever else I'm doing. I'm going to be ah, da, 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 mining away. And when I get a full inventory, I'm going to shove it all in a chest. And then what I will do is I'll send this chest up the line. That was a bit close. Didn't think that was going to go then, but it did. Up it goes. Might have to make another one to make that a bit closer, but it worked. So, um, we'll be down here mining away and just filling that up and saying, oh, la 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 la, and at the top it would then send it back down again. Obviously this one isn't going to come back down again because there isn't a return function at the top of the of the track. But what you can imagine is I'm sitting here, da da da, I can carry on mining, and then I'd come back once I fill up again, and look, my minecart would be back here. And once again, I could send it back up. And at the top of the um, hill, outside by the factory, I'm, that's where I'm going to set up my automatic cargo emptying area, sorting area, and storage area. So I can carry on mining very happily all day long. Da 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 da. And uh, all of my uh, all of my stuff is being sorted automatically for me. Same thing on this side, although at the moment obviously this side is nowhere near as advanced oops, as the other side. So this hasn't really got anywhere to go yet. But what I've also done is I've started some new tracks. And these tracks here go all the way down to the bottom part down here. Oh, my mouse is still bad. I must remember to fix that. Remind me. Um, and this goes down to here. And then as we're... This is exactly the same principle. But what I will do is, once I know I'm mining down here, is I will close off um, these... I will take these two out, and that will make one long stretch here um, all the way up. All right, now, I really want to go... Let's, uh, I've got a mine the wine cot on me, so what we'll do is we'll pop that there. We'll get in. And we'll go back up the top. Oops, a little bit of lag again. The lag on this, I don't really know why. Ah, <sighs> so much better than running up these steps, though. And there we go. Marvellous. Um, I might as well leave those two there. Right, so what's this then? Well, so, sorry, just to finish this off. So what we're going to do here, if you can imagine, these will come out here. Over the top of this will be, um, we'll make some hoppers and some um, cargo emptying um, rail, and it will drop onto conveyor belts, and at the conveyor belt level, we'll then use some item sorters to sort out the, what I call, building material stuff, so the, the, the cobblestone, the dirt, the gravel, the basalt, the marble, the limestone, the all the other stuff. That will be escorted out, and that's going to go into a building that I'm going to have made here, which is not here yet, sort of an extra add-on to, uh, to the factory, which is going to be my dirt house. And in the dirt house, we'll keep all the building materials. All the other good stuff that might end up being smelted or ends up being um, turned into something is going to go into here. And what I've sort of thought about is that anything which is precious, so I'm classing redstone, I'm classing diamonds, emeralds, peridot, all of that sort of stuff, I'm actually going to send into my cellar here into a locked area. It's like a, a vault. Um, so this area, this whole area here is going to deposit the stuff, sort the stuff, and then we'll store it in the various areas where it needs to go. Quite ambitious, but we can do it. Now, what is this? Well, last time, if you remember, I said I wasn't going to use any item um, ducks. I lied. We are going to use item ducks, but really only for... for, for very sparing. Most of this is going to be done with conveyor belts and hoppers, because as I say, we're in the industrial area. Um, we're not in the... Um, uh, sort of uh, Galacticraft area yet. Now, this has changed as well. Look inside here. We've got three... And actually, let me take out the coal in here. Dum -da -dum. Just taking out all the coal that's here at the moment. Excuse me, I've got a bit of hay fever today. I don't really know why. Um, but it's, uh, it is 
quite hot and sunny outside, so maybe that's kicked up the plants. So down here, if you can see, I've pulled these furnaces forward, and I've put a chest at the top there. And these chests at the moment are empty, but they're there. What am I doing? Well, let me show you the gubbins around the back, oh. and then you'll understand what I'm doing. And then in this episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a start, I think, on building our opening area here. Um, and then we'll test it to make sure that... Well, I'll see if I've got enough rubber for some conveyor belts. So I've taken the part at the back here. Let me turn it into a bat, because then I'll be small enough to get into these little spaces and show you what I've done. So these are item ducts. These are actually the opaque ones, because I didn't want to make hardened glass, so I've just used the lead ones. It's fine. It's not a problem. So to the chest at the top... What if I knock this down? You'll be able to see this a bit better. Oh, not that one, that one. Okay. So, each at the back of each of the furnaces is an item duct. Okay, and each side of one of each and every single joints, we've got one of the pneumatic valves that you need to have. So each of the furnaces have got their own input. This chest has got an input and an output, and the input has got um, a dense setting on the input for coal and the bottom one hasn't, that's just a straightforward drop out. So, and also these green ones are vacuum, so these hopefully would get any of the items first um, before they go to the dense bit. So, let me put this oh, and down the bottom here, Oops, you see this pipe goes down here and all the way along to the other end where the other furnaces are, and then we have this hopper, okay? And in this hopper, if I show you, if you can imagine, um, coal is going to come out of these trucks as I'm mining it down there. It's going to come up, make a turn, come along, and be deposited in the hopper into the chest. Yeah. So let's just um, make that in the same way as if I was doing it. So if you can imagine, oops, let me get into the right level, otherwise we'll spit this coal everywhere apart from where I want it to be. There we go. A little bit more. That would do. So let's just spit this coal into this hopper. So let's just imagine all this coal is dropping off a conveyor belt, having been unloaded automatically from my minecart. Fabulous. And then actually, let me just put in. There we go. So that's all going in the hopper, which is then dropping into this chest, but not staying in the chest, and is then being vanishing down the pipes. Where is it going? Well, of course, it's going all the way through the pipes, and hopefully should be being automatically filled in our furnaces. So every time I put in coal, every time coal gets unloaded, I should say, sorry, at the at the um, rail depot, it is automatic. Now this takes a little longer to get here because they've got to go through the pipes. But there you go. And I've put this on a round robin at the end here. So these are receiving these perfectly randomly, as and when, whenever um, they're due to be received. That's going through the system. But at the top here, nothing is going in these chests yet. But what will happen? Over time, as we get more and more coal, and these chests fill up, and they get to 64, so they're maxed, any extra coal we have needs to go somewhere. So it'll have to go into the dense operated chests. So these will fill up with our spare coal, okay? And then, over time, as we use coal, and we burn stuff and we make stuff, coal will automatically drop from these hoppers and fill up any of the ones that we've used, because they're on, also got the output as well, um, to be filled up on any of the others. So it's only staying there really temporarily whilst the furnaces have maximum coal. So it should be a way, and this was actually Generic B that gave me the idea of doing this because he was doing a similar thing in his Attack of the B team when he was doing the um, King um, Slimes and he was trying to build uh, those King Slimes. Now what we've got to do obviously is just patch this in so that you don't actually know. Now I can't go up there obviously but we can use micro blocks. Oops, I'm not very good with these. I don't seem to want to play. But there you go, and you wouldn't know, whoops, you wouldn't know that there was, indeed, anything there at all. Yeah? Um, and then on this one, really easily, we can just go bump with some dirt, and nobody knows it's there. So it's all hidden away. All that pipe work is all completely hidden away, but it is automatically feeding into all of our... So that's got 12 in it now, 16, and that's 60. So that's nearly full, that middle one. But again, it's random. It's completely random robin, round the robin. So uh, it's trying to... St it should be trying to do it reasonably equally, though. But none of our chests at the top have in, but once these all are full of coal, they will be our extra storage for coal. And if I ever need coal, 
I can either take it straight out of one of here and then it will be automatically filled from the chest above or I could take it out of the chest at the top there. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I'm going to keep my coal, if you like, my coal bunker full. The next bit though is to start making a bit of work on doing this bit and saying, okay, how do we unload stuff? Um, and what are we going to have at the bottom there which we will unload it into, how will it be sorted, how will I get the dirt off to one side, the shiny stuff off to another side, and the metals to be smelted. Whoops, there's a zombie, I heard ya. Honestly, go away when I'm trying to talk here, honestly. Um, yeah, so I'll go away now and we'll cut here and I will go away and do a little bit of work on this and then when we come back I will show you what my thoughts are and uh, you uh, will hopefully get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. So I shall see you in a moment. Welcome back everybody. So we've done a little bit more work. We're not quite finished with the structuring yet but I wanted to show you uh, sort of where we are. So you see I've dovetailed in this roof section in here. We've got two slopes that come down either side and we've taken out really that entire wall. I've also created another door here and this is what it looks like inside. So we take off and then you can see. So we've got a, a ramp up which is going to go into the actual factory which is where our main conveyor belt is going to go. This, excuse me, this area here is going to end up with a conveyor belt running to it and dropping just coal in it. So this point here we're going to have to be up to this level by this point here so that I can have this conveyor belt running along here and dropping it in. If I go up to here, I can put an item rack here, of course, and have a conveyor belt running along here and then dropping into here if I wanted to. Um, so we do have a little bit of space. We've got this enormous sort of gap under here. And this is where the cargo rails and the hoppers and the conveyor belts are going to go. Now, I've made some conveyor belts here. Um, let's just pop these in because we're going to have to have these oops oops turn around anyway so let's get our I think I can use this to do that I think I can so everything's got to go this way to start with oops good so everything is now heading in this direction but what we've got to make happen it's it's got to rise up so let's start Oh, there's a gap through here, isn't there? Yeah. That could be quite useful, actually. I want to see how quickly I can get this to rise. Um, if I do that, and I pop one there. Oops. Good. Can I remove that one? Is that... No, it's not relying on anything. So good, we're already starting to get... Oops, don't get stuck in there. Getting higher. Now I don't know if I do another block here and there. I'm not sure... Oh, we're stuck. I'm not sure the items are going to be able to get past that block or not. We'll have to have a look in a second. Let's take this one out. And then put a block here. Yeah, I think we're going to need to be one further back than this, aren't we? Otherwise, we're not really going to be able to get into... Actually, maybe we will. Let's let's see. If I take this out, and this one out... And then... Now, as I say, the trouble here, of course, is that we haven't got our coal coming up quick enough because I need this to be on a flat block, if you like, so that it can sort the coal out and send the coal over here and dump it in here. So this needs to come back one, but that will then equally in turn, I think, mess up. Oh, it might not mess up. It might mess up. <laughs> uh, we go. Bump. Thank you. Um, we're going to have to, I think, start one earlier. Wait, so how do we destroy these? Can we just destroy these? Yes. Awesome. So let's just destroy these because we haven't come up fast enough, quick enough. 
So, what we want to do instead... Oh, 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 oh. Uh, let's first and foremost put something there to block that off. But here is where we want to start coming up. So, let's do this again. One in there. And just by using the wrench and right-clicking, we can obviously, as you see, move it around to get it to do... Whoops, go up. Ah, I know why. Because there isn't a block... Oh, that's stone. I don't really want to use stone. Really want to use dirt either. Have I got any? Oh, we're getting into night time. Let's go and sleep, otherwise we will end up having issues with mobs, and we don't need that. Right now, there we go. I've got too many things. I need to work out how to do that quick, that sort of favourites thing. So I'll have to have a look on the old, on the old wiki and see if we can do that. We just just shutting my curtains. Would you believe? Because the house across the road is reflecting the sun fully on my face. And I don't like it. Right, here we go, we're back. Okay. Um, 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 um. Let's go and put in some more of these. So we want this... Oh, I didn't get any cobblestone. I got some cobble in here. There we go. Right. Let's go and cobble some of this up. So what we're going to need to have is we're going to have to have cobble here and here and here back to where we had it but actually do we want cobble there? no we probably don't want cobble there we probably want one of those on there what have I got? I have very good so we're just going to build that and there that's got stuck in there now isn't it? Um, don't need the sword that one and then we can put that one back oh, I'm still a me I need to be a bat again right so let's have a look at this so what we've got then this conveyor belt is going to be lifting everything up here to this bit here now this in here is going to be a box and then that will go on from there. So there'll be an item, I can't really call it. It's an item something rather, I'm sure. Item router? Item collector, item router. So we have to make one of these and we've got to do a lot of stuff. Got to get. Yeah, this is going to be quite difficult to make. So we haven't got this yet. Um, machine frame we can do easy peasy. So it's just these things. So we need to get copper, we got that. Lead, got that. Redstone, electrum which is electrum nuggets, which is electrum ingots, which is, if I remember correctly, something to do with silver and gold. We've got tons of that, just can't make it all at the moment. So we won't worry, but there'll be a disconnection here. But there will be an item frame here. And then really... Oh, have I got enough blocks to do that? I think I have. So then really, bump to three... Oops. Four, five. This one goes in here at... Oops. That angle... And then one, two, three, four. And these go one, two, oop, oh, no, 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 they don't. That way, that way. So the coal, if you could imagine, the item route is here. The coal is going to come up here and get spat out this side, run away along here, and drop straight into there. What could be easier? Um, I could have it going up and then dropping in. Um, I don't know whether that's a good idea or not. Maybe it is. So I want one of these to go up in the air, don't I? I don't need it to go up two. Oh, that hopper's just swallowed that up. So if I go in here. Oh no! Somewhere in my system, <laughs> somewhere in my system, there is a. Uh, I've got to find it now. Oh, that's a frustration. I wonder where that would go. I'm sure it must only it can only go into one of the um boxes inside. One of the um chests. So we'll have a look for that. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh we're gonna go up here somewhere, aren't we? So there. Have I got any more? Oh I could chisel that one out though. There we go. All on one short, that's a bugger. Um oh, I've got stone. 
Yeah, this hay fever is getting really bad. I don't really know why. Here, my voice sounds really deep as well. Um, we're going to go up here. So that goes up there. Then we can put in our. Oops. Then we can put in our one, two, and three. This is going to go that way. Yeah. And then what I think I'll do, just to make sure, is I could create like a proper, like a, a hole, like a proper vault here, um, made out of like um, like stairs and build them round so that we end up with just a hole there for that to go into. So that's all going into there. That will then go into the main building and that's where that will be sorted out. So what do we do with here? Well, what we need to do is go one, two, three, four, five, six. Now the reason I'm using six is I think on a minecart, um, there are 30, 30 spaces. So if there are 30 spaces, um, and a hopper holds 5, 6 times 5 is 30. So every cart will always be empty, always be empty when it comes up. So it will always go, come in, empty out entirely, regardless of how full I've, I've done. So even if I've packed it full of loads and loads of stuff, it will empty all in one go. I want to put some powered rail on there. Um, now, so on here, um, I didn't need to make this that deep then, really, did I? Because the hoppers just need to go on here. They will drop down. So hopper, hopper, three, five, and six. And one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, the question is, of course, are they all pointing so they all drop straight down? Because if they're going into that, if they're going into, let's have a look. Uh, one, so you just got to hit it once, I think. God, I hope that worked. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Looks like it has. <laughs> Get off. Right. So uh, we need some rail. Oh, we have got though, obviously, our cargo drop-off rails. Let's quickly just go and get our power drow and our red red um, red torches in place so our oh, my mouse has gone again there it is um, oh no why oh have I got power rail in there? I have not got power rail in there I have power rail here so let's take this power rail oh let's, do I need any more normal rail? I might do there we go bring it all if we bring it all we can't uh, we can't run out can we now um, over here So these are our end points. I'm actually sitting in that hopper right now. There we go. These are our end points, um, and these need to have redstone torches. Um, can I put them? No, that doesn't power it, does it? So they have to go here and here, or ah, uh, or we take that off there and we go bump there. That looks a bit better because I don't really want, I didn't really want to have really want to have an enormous block there actually that makes it a little bit more better. Or oh, actually no it won't because they'll just go straight off the edge won't they? Of course they will. Stupid. So we do need to have a block there. How are we going to have to power them from the side? It's the only way. Can't power them from underneath. Can I power them from if I take that out and I put that in there, no, I want to do that. If I put them in there, no. Why am I not picking this block up? Hmm. Oh, I've got full inventory, bugger. Um, hold on hold everything because we've still got to put these down so let's just put these down and then we'll have plenty of space so um one two and these are our cargo drop-off rails um and one more so as soon as the as soon as oh whoops as soon as 
the minecart rolls over these, five items in its inventory will automatically drop out. So that will empty the minecart, both of them, so that'd be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 sets of items will drop straight out of there and then start dropping onto our conveyor belts below. So we then want our powered rail here and here. And I was going to put a redstone torch here, but that's not going to help me now. So I can't even put the damn things. Oh, I can put them up there. They can be higher. That has powered that now. I wonder if that will knock off any stuff that comes through there, though. I wonder, can I not put them... Where did that go? Where did that go? Oh, it must have gone in the hopper. Oh, damn it. So that should should have come out up here somewhere, shouldn't it? Or is it just stuck? Oh, hold on. Get off. Oh, these things are so frustrating, though. Because they really shouldn't pick you up. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> look, 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 look. Those are wrong. So this is somewhere in here. I still need to do... Hmm. So, if I take out these middle ones... See, you've got to be careful with these blasted hoppers. Look at them. So these are all facing downwards. And should have spat out then, I would have thought. It didn't drop it out. I don't know why. Maybe I do need to put a chest underneath it and then drop it out of the chest. Because I'd have thought, if I was putting anything in here... Hmm. Perhaps I do have to put something in the bottom there then. Uh oh, night time. Perhaps I do have to put something in the bottom there then. So, if I put in a chest maybe, that should allow me, and then I'd have to have what, another hopper under the chest? Good gravy, that would be an awful lot of stuff. I'm going to have to work this out I think. So I'm going to cut here, I'm going to go away and look at that and see what I can do, and I'll be right back. Well, welcome back, everybody. It was a very, very long... <laughs> took a great deal of time, actually. you think I've only been gone a couple of minutes, but I haven't. This has been a very long job. Right, what have we done? Okay, well, I couldn't do what I wanted to do, which was have these hoppers seem to drop them automatically. This doesn't even want to do it. Don't know why. So, instead, it certainly worked in my creative mode. It would just drop out, but not in here. But actually, thinking about it now, that's better that they don't, because I need to use this space to be able to work out what items are coming through here, so that I can shoot some of them off over that direction to go towards um, the house, in order for like the shiny stuff to be uh, protected away, and something needs to shoot off that direction to go to the dirt house, which is, or the, <laughs> the earth house, which is going to be over here, which is going to be storing all of our building materials, stone, dirt, gravel, etc. So, in actual fact, really, this was the only way I could have done it, so I've had to use some more item ducts. Very annoying, but have to do it. Now this here is a dropper. Really annoying dropper as well, because it doesn't automatically drop. You have to have a redstone pulse. And in order to do that, what I've had to do is... I think I can destroy this block. I can. In the back here, ticking away, is a redstone clock. So this uh, machine uh, dropper is always receiving a redstone signal. Therefore, you know, it will drop periodically um, and is constantly powered and will drop onto this runner here. Um, I think the easiest thing for me to do is to try and show you how it works. And then I think I'm going to call this an episode <laughs> because it's taken me about two and a half hours to work out how to do everything that I wanted to do. Um, so let's get down here. I have got a cart down here already which has got um, a mine cart with a chest in it. So we can actually send it up the tracks and you can see Hopefully if I can fly up here quick enough. I am a bat on side, so this is... Yeah, okay. Oops, no, stay a bat. Good. So down here, obviously, is our minecart. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in here... Uh, let's put in all of this silver ore. Okay, let's pretend... Well, let's, this is how it would work. So I'd be mining away, filling it up, da 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 fabulous. Off it goes. I now have to... Oops, try and get up here faster than the minecart, which I can do. It's going to catch up with me in a second, though. Here it comes. Now watch the dropper. Straight over the top. And gone again. Look. 
So it's emptied everything out of that minecart. Absolutely everything has come out of that minecart. The dropper is on tick, now dropping out regularly. Alright, all of the stuff. Now the stuff can be stored in these hoppers until there's ready to be able to fit into here. Okay, so that's not a problem and it will come in periodically. But ultimately it'll all go up here into an item source. So there'll be item sorters down here that will say actually, right, your building materials, you're gonna go over that way to the earth house. Your shinies, you're gonna go that way into the into the storeroom. Um but you guys here, which are actually um silver ore, so they would go up this up this ramp, would come to this item router. They would say if you're coal, I want you to go into this one so that you can go in through and automatically um uh, fill up the uh, furnaces in there and store in the chest if necessary but if you are silver ore such as you are here then you will come through here and then we'll work out what the hell we're going to do with them from there so I think on the basis that I've spent god knows how many hours in fact I haven't put in the windows got to put some light in here I will finish off a lot of this I'm going to put some arches here as well actually so that um, with some gates so these are also protected and I'm going to have to do something with this overhang I might actually put fence posts all the way across so nothing can drop I think I can drop down it. Um, but as you saw, the minecart has now gone all the way back down and is now back at the bottom there waiting its next load. So this is our automatic dispensary cargo emptying area. <laughs> oh, such an enormous amount of time. Um, I think we could call that. I hope this has given you some inspiration, if nothing else. If you're doing a similar thing or wanting to look at doing a similar thing, this is how I've managed to do it in Attack of the B Team. Um, if you've liked this video, please do leave a like. Please do subscribe. It really is really appreciated here. If you want to leave a comment about how I could have done some stuff differently, please do that too. Um, but uh, until I see you again, which will probably be midweek at some point, I'll tidy this up and put some lights in here. Um, I'm still on peaceful now, which is why I'm not losing any food because it took me so long to do this whole job. Um, I will see you next time, um, laters. <laughs>